Hi and welcome to Hibberton's Boatyard. When you arrive at your accommodation, you'll be able to come in in your car and park at one of the designated parking spaces, which are just behind me to my left, your right as you're watching this. And you can see there they are. You park in one of these, you park your car up. The ground isn't perfect ground. It's slightly uneven and a bit rumpy bumpy, but we've had all sorts of things riding on this. Hoverboards, wheelchairs, mobility scooters, cycles you name it it's been on it and you can see from simon's old car how it looks from a car's point of view once you've arrived one of us will be here to meet you at the car and then we'll take you around so let's give a little look around what the path is like and how rumpy bumpy it is to see if you can decide if its access is good for your access needs we walk across a little piece of grass and then we get to this path which we've managed to put some old tarmac chippings down on that were provided for us. And then you come along the path here. Again, nothing is perfectly flat. Nothing is perfectly right. Don't always be leaves and concrete, it just depends on the season. And then you come to the gate where you exit from um, the main part of our boatyard round to the riverside. There is a pull handle here. This height is about waist height on me, say about 80 centimetres high. Push the gate open and then you or somebody travelling with you can close it by pushing it in there. Then you carry on on your journey to walk around here. We're going to go past all of our accommodations. See the first one we get to is Secret Garden which has got steps up to it and you can see more about that in the rest of the accessibility guide and you carry on around the corner and then the path becomes a grass path you can see my wonderful shadow walking on it and it's just a little grass path that we walk on so it's not a special pathway in any way shape or form it's got lumps and bumps it's not flat and straight it's got clumps of grass that don't all grow perfectly well together but again we've had bikes on here we've had hoverboards on here We've had mobility scooters on here. So all sorts, it just depends what your requirement and need is. And you come down this pathway and you carry on. We're walking down by the riverside, very pretty. And we get a little bit more gravel back on the path, not just grass now. But again, bear in mind, none of this is perfectly flat. None of this is perfectly flat. And I'm walking this in real time. So the length of time it's taken me to walk is how long it takes the average person to walk around the site. The leaves are likely to be here in the autumn, but in the spring and the summer, fairly clear of leaves. But the greenery is even more green. And we pass the first floating houseboat here on my right, Pink Club. And then we carry on on our little wander. And this is just a little downward slope. I don't know if you can see that it's a downward slope. So what I'm going to do is just take a second and film it backwards. It's a gentle slope that goes upwards. And then we carry on. And we arrive at the next houseboat, Swallows. So the entrance there. Bearing in mind we're a tidal entrance, Swallows will float up and down. Um, and then we carry on on this path with the gravel on it. And we're wandering around the corner. It's a beautiful day now when I'm doing it. 16 degrees it is in November. We come around the corner and we see just around this corner is Secret Water. First one of our two floating pods with a ramped access onto that. And we come along on our path and my shadow's back with me because of the way the sun's shining. Hello shadow. Peter Pan would be happy with me having a shadow. He wasn't very happy when he lost me. And then on our right now is the second ramped access to our second floating pod, Wildcat Island. We've all got a little step up. And then we walk a little bit further. We're getting towards the end of the path. 
and the gravelly bit runs out and then as you can see it's our last houseboat which is Amazons floating here there and everywhere do bear in mind with all of our floating houses and pods this is a tidal place so right now they're all just in line with the bank but sometimes they're lower and sometimes they're a wee bit higher so sometimes the step is higher and lower we can't control the angle of the ramps that are going onto the properties because it goes with nature and the river but now you've had a little look if this meets your access needs then we'd be happy to see you Music